Oklahoma is more than like a baseball team. We're like a family here at PL. We wearing this shirt, just pouring the baseball on the front means a lot more. People come back like 15, 20 years later and come back for the alumni game and we see that every year. So we're a part of more than just a team here and it's really cool to see the people that have played here in years past and it's a great team to be a part of. It's really a pleasure being the head coach of our program. We have a really, really storied, rich history of, of Point Loma baseball players, not only succeeding while they're here at the high school, but moving on to play in the collegiate ranks, and then uh, in some very rare and famous cases, moving up to, to play Major League Baseball. Uh, in recent years, we've had about uh, six to eight student athletes earn Division I scholarships and, and move on to play collegiate baseball. This year, we have uh, two or three seniors who are in that very same position. Uh, and in addition to that, some of our uh, famous, uh, more well-known alumni uh, are guys that are still coaching around the high school, Coach Kampanik, for example, Eric Allen, who went on to play uh, professional football with the Eagles uh, and be a pro bowler with them. But, but the two most famous alumni are both pitchers, David Wells, who graduated in uh, 1982, and then a guy by the name of Don Larson, who graduated back in the uh, late 40s or early 50s, I believe. Um, both of these guys are quite famous for having thrown a perfect game, which is the rarest feat uh, a professional baseball player can throw. No hits, no runs, no errors by the defense. There are only 20 uh, pitchers in the history of Major League Baseball ever to throw a perfect game and Point Loma High School happens to have two of those 20 guys in David Wells and Don Larson. So it's a it's a little bit of trivial pursuit knowledge, it's a little bit of rare baseball knowledge and, and folks who know San Diego County High School baseball um, know the rich story tradition uh, of Point Loma High School. I think it's cool that great players such as David Wells and Don Larson have come through this program and uh, kind of gives us motivation to do what they did. You know, David Wells won the CIF championship and Don Larson threw it perfect game in the World Series, so just to wear putting them on our chest is pretty cool to say that they did too. Well, all right, let's all take a deep breath as we go to the most dramatic ninth inning in the history of baseball. The Dodgers will send up Carl Perillo, Roy Campanella, and then we'll see about Mangley Spot. The first man is Frillo. He has flied to right and popped out to second. Over two and five for 17. Now back. And the crowd here at Yankee Stadium, 64,517, will be roaring on every pitch. Ball one. High foul off first. Collins coming over. He has no play. Another foul, twisting down the right field line, carrying back into the crowd. 
One ball and two strikes to Carl Perillo. fly ball to right. Hank Bauer is there waiting. One out. Roy Campanella struck out looking and popped out to Billy Martin. He is 0 for 2 and 4 for 14. Coming back downstairs. On one. And the Dodger bullpen grumbling and growling and waiting. Bouncer down towards Billy Martin. Two out. I think it would be safe to say that no man in the history of baseball has ever come up to home plate in a more dramatic moment. That man is pinch hitter Dale Mitchell. Yankee Stadium shivering in its concrete foundation right now. Ball one. Two out in the ninth inning. The Yankees two, Brooklyn nothing. But this ball game is right there on your screen, Mr. Don Larson. Strike one. And the crowd is roaring now. Similarly to the day when Johnny Padres stood out there last year. But there is so much more at stake this afternoon. attention.
Encyclopedia of Baseball. But here at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx in New York, the most dramatic baseball game ever played. In 1947, Phil Bevan came so heartbreakingly close to pitching a no-hitter and didn't do it. But no man has ever pitched a perfect game in a World Series. Only one perfect game has ever been pitched, but that was in the course of the regular season. But when you put it in a World Series, you've set the biggest diamond in the biggest ring. And so hats off to Don Larson. No runs, no hits, no errors, no walks, no base runners.